Alright guys, welcome back to another Opera Omnia video where we have the translations done by our good friend Medic. Uh, thank you so much man for the continuous uh, translations that you provide to the community. But we do have the good translations, not the Google app translator that I have on my phone which... I don't know what the heck happened during the uh, reaction video, but it was just not doing its job whatsoever. So I may have to find an alternative in case that happens again. So I apologize for uh, for that mishap. Uh, but we do have the actual good translations. And, and again, thank you so much, man, for the uh, for the continuous translations that you provide to everybody. Let's go ahead and jump into it because there is a good amount that we need to uh, talk about. And not really talk about, but we need to uh, read over and uh, give my uh, opinions on uh, set uh, on a couple things. Uh, so yeah, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Let's start off with the Force Level 50 Unlock. So starting on the 28th of this month, characters will receive their Level 50 Force Enhancements per periodically. Uh, the new Force Gauge update. With the update starting on the 27th, based on the Force Level, some of the HP damage bonus will remain even after the Force Time finishes. For each 10 force levels, 3% of the HP damage bonus will remain, up to 15% per character, totaling 45% if all party members have their force level at 50. This also works for characters who only have their force level up to 30. Now, when starting another force time, the HP damage bonus starts from the remaining HP damage bonus from the last force time. Now, the new Force Enhancement Passives, they do require 5,000 Enhancement Points and 2 Force Stones to reach level 40, and an additional 5,000 5, Enhancement Points and 2 Force Stone Points to reach level 50. So, at Force, in, uh, force Enhancement 35 and 45, at 50% or more on the force gauge, you will get an increase in the brave damage cap by 20% each, totaling 40%. And then at force enhancement uh, 40 and force enhancement 50, at 50% or higher in the force gauge, you will get an increase to the HP damage cap by 10% each, totaling 20%. Now the force stone stone shards will be rewarded and Shinryu battles are going to get increased. So that is fantastic. Uh, next up is going to be the arc, uh, the Act 4, Chapter 5, Part 1, which is going to be the release of the new FF11 character, which I am not going to attempt to pronounce. Uh, they are uh, a special weapon type, Yellow Crystal. And they will be the first character to be getting their Force level 50. And from this OPOP going forward, chapter title and key visual will be left for the chapter showcase on Twitter. So his uh, 15 CP weapon, Spear of Justice, the base ability, Blaze Thrust. It is a magic AoE Bray plus an HP attack. It heals the party based on the total HP damage dealt, converts... Overhealing into Brave Recovery recovers Brave to the party based on the total HP damage dealt, and it grants the self buff the Half of Phoenix, which provides the party with attack up and max Brave up. His 35 uh, CP weapon, Spear of Trust, is the second ability, Reversal Drive. It's a magic AoE Brave plus an HP attack, and it grants the self buff the Half of Phoenix. Uh, his ZX ability, Redemption, it's a, it, uh, it heals and revives the uh, revives his teammates. Uh, it recovers Brave to the party based on own Max Brave. It is instant turn rate and it does not contribute to the turn order. It grants the overhead twin wings that resist the end of the world. Now that provides the party with HP regen, Brave regen, initial Brave up, uh, Brave damage up, HP damage up, stolen slash obtained, Brave overflow up, and the healing goes beyond the max HP. Now, as LD, uh, LD ability, excuse me, Revelation is a magic, or excuse me, it recovers Brave to the party based on own attack. It is a magic AoE Brave plus an HP attack, and it grants the self buff the one who watches over Vanadio. Uh, now, that buff provides the party with a Brave damage up, HP damage up, and then during every hit, Recovers Brave to self based on own max. Oh, okay. So that is the... Okay. So I was wrong on that uh, when I uh, was doing my reaction video because I thought it was going to be... I thought that it was a, a, a Prish effect, but it is not that. It is a... Uh, 
It is a a, a Kate type effect. Okay, that's that's a big difference. That, 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 those are definitely two different uh, two different things. Okay, so thanks, tra thanks, uh, Google Translate app. <laughs> uh, his F4 ability Eclipse Lance with Astos as his partner. It heals the party. Uh, it does go beyond the max HP. It's a magic AoE Bray plus an HP attack. Uh, when it comes to the force conditions, whenever a turn passes with a character selecting a magic attack command, and whenever a turn passes with a character having 100% or more of uh, more HP, they will be increasing the HP damage bonus. Now, when it comes to the BT ability, Luminous Lance is a magic AoE Bray plus an HP attack. It inflicts all enemies with the golden debuff Luminous Lance. Now, the BT effect to himself, it changes his HP attack command to Crystal Diver. Uh, the party will be getting Brave Gains up, Brave Damage Cap up, HP Damage up, and HP Damage Cap up. The Golden Debuff Luminous Lance makes it so that the enemy is unable to act, has a built-in defense down, HP Damage received up, HP Poison based on own max HP, uh, and the inflicted... Uh, and in, I'm sorry, what? Inflicted enemy max HP. Okay. 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 So, um, yeah, like I mentioned, um, like I had mentioned on, um, uh, on the reaction video, like having, uh, characters with, uh, that is able to provide a party wide HP overflow, especially like a big amount, like Lena was a good example to, uh, to, uh, pair up with, uh, uh, with this guy, like would actually be like really, really good. Cause that HP poison can actually, uh, uh, Increase because it is based on our own max HP. Now, uh, when it comes to scaling on the force time, it doesn't look like we know anything. We don't know anything about that just yet. So we're gonna have to wait until uh, the showcase drops, and then we'll get a, get a much better idea of, as to how he works. Uh, the uh, changed HP command. Uh, Crystal Diver recovers Brave to party based on own attack. It's a magic AOE Brave plus an HP attack. It heals the party based on on the total HP damage dealt. Converts overhealing into Brave Recovery. Recovers Brave to Party based on, on the total HP damage dealt. Extends buffs granted to self by one action. And his uh, his uh, EX ability uh, becomes uh, ready to be used, which is pretty cool. So basically, the way the way that I'm looking at this guy uh, is going to be that he is, he is more leaning towards uh, support. But of course, he'll have the ability to be able to deal some some uh, some damage. So I mean, I mean nowadays in JP, like most support characters, I mean they're gonna be dealing damage uh, regardless. So I mean at this point, we must just call them a, call a support character support DPS because like they they make uh, J JP has been making a lot of these support characters uh, very very strong. So uh, yeah, that's that's how I am looking at at uh, this character and how I see fit. Uh, when it comes to, uh, to, to when it comes to team comps, uh, next up is going to be the uh, Golden Week campaign, which starts on the twenty eighth. There will be a daily free uh, full pull banner. All FRs up to locks FR are included. We are also going to be getting the start dash banner reset with Cloud, Squall, and Lightning, who are going to be receiving their force level fifties. There will be a Golden Week uh, Choco Panel missions, including eighty force. Stone shards and an animated sticker. There will be free multi draws on the Act Four, Chapter Five, Part One, and Part Two banners, and uh, we also have a Golden Week campaign banner dropping as well. the uh, The uh, Part One for the story is going to be dropping on the twenty eighth. Uh, the Golden Week banner will be dropping on uh, May the second, and then the uh, Part Two for the story update is going to be dropping on May the ninth. There will be no new FR or BT, but the characters featured will receive their force level 50. Okay, so I do believe... Okay, that is actually... So that right there is meant for the Golden Week campaign banner. Oh, okay. Oh, okay, cool. Very, very nice. Force level... Mm. Interesting, okay. Uh, the daily quest, four daily tokens per day. Shop has unlimited enhancement points. Uh, the mission quest rewards include 84 stone shards and 1,000 of the ultimate color brilliance points. Uh, next up, we do have the Act 4, Chapter 5, Part 2. Zadan is going to be uh, receiving his FR weapon. Fujin is going to be getting her BT weapon. Both characters are going to be receiving FR boards, rework, and force level 50. 
Uh, Zidane's uh, FR ability, Crystal Energy, with Shalada as his partner. Uh, cancels all enemies' break status. It's a melee AoE brave plus an HP attack. It inflicts the Thief's Mark defense down and speed down debuffs to all enemies. And it grants self thievery defense up and speed up. Uh, when it comes to the force conditions, whenever a turn passes with a character selecting an attack command against a debuffed enemy, and whenever a turn passes with a character breaking an enemy or attacking a broken target, it will be increasing the HP damage bonus. Now, this is the one that I was most curious about because this is when uh, my uh, my my uh, translator I was being all weird. Uh, so Fujin's uh, BT ability Nagi. Uh, it's a ranged AOE brave plus an HP attack. The BT effect for the party. It makes it so that it is guaranteed to. Oh, okay. It's a guaranteed to launch. Oh, okay. That would actually. Actually, no. It would oh, actually no? It may because uh, if she's gonna, if Fujin's gonna be getting a rework, so she's gonna be getting FR Echo. I am really, really, really hoping that they will that they would consider changing that one condition where instead of. Uh, only Fujin being the only character to launch, uh, it would it will also count for everybody else to launch. I really, really hope that's going to be the case for that. Uh, i not going to lie. I, I'm going to be pretty bummed out if they don't actually change that. So uh, if they do change it, then this BT effect will actually complement uh, her FR very nicely. Uh, it will also, or it will be providing the party with wall damage up, which is a damage that results from an enemy hitting a wall at the end of launch. Uh, it will also be getting brave damage up, brave damage cap up, HP damage up, and HP damage cap up. So very nice, very very nice. Uh, now we do have the infiltration report, seeing as how maintenance is already done on JP. So for force level fifty. Party menu shows the percentage of the remaining HP damage bonus based on the character selected, which is uh, good to know. In the six warrior quest, the remaining percentage is calculated using the main slash active slash front party members. Uh, for the Act 4, Chapter 5, Part 1, as part of the Golden Week campaign, 50k enhancement points and 64 stone shards will be added to the event co-op shop. Uh, Guy, Cod, Shulk, uh, the Twins, Neon, Cloud, Squall, and Lightning are going to be receiving their force level 50s. Oh, cool. Oh, that's that's awesome. Hell yeah. Uh, the Intertwined Wills for Kadaj. Not knowing how to grasp the distance between himself and Big, Big Brother Cloud on impulsive decision, he plans to interact with other people. Oh, okay. So that uh that actually correlates with the um with the last story update that we had uh, in JP. So that's cool. So they're gonna continue uh uh that uh, I guess like what happened uh, during the uh, the last story update. That's awesome. Uh, new content. Comes at the end of May, the new content that puts characters against powerful enemies from each series mentioned in a previous report will start. Details will be revealed on the next OPOP. Ooh, that's exciting. Uh, and then finally, we got the rework list. So on May the 5th, or is it May the 5th? No, uh, excuse me, May the 9th, uh, Zidane and Fujin are going to be getting reworks. Uh, Kadash and Laguna are going to be getting uh, uh, reworks on the 16th. So more than likely, Laguna is going to be getting an FR. Uh, Renoa is also going to be a part of that banner as well. Uh, and she will be getting a rework on the 16th. So she may potentially get a four psycho. And then finally, on the 24th, Irvine is going to be getting uh, his rework as well. So he's going to be getting more than likely an FR and a BT. Uh, when it comes to the Four Stones rewards increase, in order to make it easier for players to reach Force Level 50, Four Stone shards rewarded in each event will increase. When clearing a Shinryu level, uh, the amount of shards rewarded will go from 10 to 20, and an mission and a mission that rewards 10 Four Stone shards will be added okay nice nice so they are they are gonna help us out so that we are able to meet with the demand uh when it comes to the uh, the 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 force fragments which is great uh it would be nice even though we do have like the unlimited enhancement points uh via the token shop uh it still would be nice for free to play players to actually be able to gain a little bit more maybe from uh from co-op uh, events and whatnot which 
they have done in the past, so it wouldn't surprise me if they start doing it if they don't. If they do, excuse me, start doing that again, unless they already have, and I've just not been paying attention attention to it because I've been capped on enhancement points for quite, for quite a while, and that that is not a flex. It, that's just I'm just being honest. Like I I've, I've been capped for 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 a good minute now. Uh, so uh, it would, but in all seriousness though, uh, for free to play players, it would definitely help them out uh, a whole lot. Uh, so yeah, uh, we all gonna be getting five thousand gems, twenty tickets, uh, twenty PP stones, and uh, five armor tokens. Five armor tokens. Why not just give more than that? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, but anyways, though, uh, with that being said, I pretty much covered everything. Again, thank you uh, to Medic for the translations for the OPOP that released earlier uh, tonight. Uh, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next one.